Welcome to this Avaya knowledge base video. I am Paul Earl and work as part of the Scopia Backbone Engineers team. This short video explains how to improve the Scopia Elite MCU registration stability when Scopia product clocks are synchronized using NTP. The background to this video was a report of an MCU unregistration which was ultimately identified to be due to a clock jump on the ECS gatekeeper when the clock was updated by NTP. This resulted in the TTL registration timer of the ECS expiring and the consequent unregistration of the MCU. The MCU registered automatically a short time later. The simplest way to improve stability in such scenarios is to extend the TTL timer setting in the ECS web interface. This can be done as follows. First you will need to sign in to the ECS web page, remembering that if the ECS is installed on the Scopia management server, the URL will be the address of the server but using port 8011. The default login is admin and no password. From the status page, go to the settings tab and then the advanced page. You will notice the default multiplier TTL setting is 2. Increase this value to 10. Then select the upload button. And to complete the process, log out from the ECS. No restart of the ECS services are required for this configuration change. Thank you for your time today. We welcome comments, questions and feedback at mentor at avaya.com or on Twitter at Avaya Mentor. For more details or related information, please visit support.avaya.com. Thank you for choosing Avaya.